What's up guys, it's finally here. Philadelphia, our third championship game hosted right here at Subaru Park. Take a look. A little bit of uh, mother nature this weekend in the mid-Atlantic on the East Coast. But you know what? If it wasn't for the mother, if it wasn't for the creator, we wouldn't even be in its position to play lacrosse in the first place. So we will take on all of mother nature's conditions and be appreciative of it, celebrate, and then ultimately have a champion center field in about 24 hours. Oh yeah, and there's covers, who even cares? That's the thing that's great about MLS venues. And when we build our own venues, we're gonna have overhangs like that, if not entirely indoors. Brett, you asked me, uh, why do I have my gamer with me? Well, Connor Fields is still in balance. So I'm going to get the call from Chris Bates after practice, whether or not they, lead, they need a lefty attackman. We're hoping Fields he goes, but we're just going to have to see how this plays out here in the next 24 hours. Now here's what we want to do. We just really wanted to thank you for another amazing year, another amazing season at the PLL. It's our fifth behind us. And beginning next year, there's going to be all different touch points because we're taking our eight teams into home cities. But for all of you on the notification squad, all of you that comment on our videos, ask us questions and engage, if not for you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of Brett's heart. Thank you. I have to show him your heart. It's right there. Marked by the PLL shield, isn't it? Damn right. So given that we're here at championship weekend, I wanted to talk about my three favorite moments of the year. The first one, the first one was the first game weekend in Albany when we set a broadcast record on ABC. 782,000 people peak tuned in to that game. And can add value to the offense away from the ball in the pick game. Look at Ryder Garzi keeping possession, rolling and spinning before it's finally taken away. And he scores! What a goal! When we looked to start the PLL, Pro Lacrosse hadn't had a distribution deal, and we were going to NBC, CBS, ESPN, Amazon, and all saying, hey, uh, if you cover us, we think 100,000 people might watch. But 100,000 is a lot in that business. We just met with Amazon. Paul thought that was one of our best pitches. I don't, I don't see them doing a deal with us. And thrilling. We're here at NBC. To get almost a million is amazing in five years. The next five years, I want to get two or three million to watch a game. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. Number two, being on the sideline at Homewood Field, my alma mater with my former head coach, Dave Petromala, taking in the vibes of a sold-out crowd, getting an earpiece in during the ABC broadcast, talking to Kyle Harrison, my former teammate in 2005, Anish Shroff, and Paul Carcaterra. Funny story, when he was recruiting me, Back in Montgomery Village, my dad went to North Carolina, so he had a UNC Tar Heel pillow. He sat on it, and he was like, you ain't going there, you're coming here. <laughs> and, and how that would change this time around. Uh, <laughs> you refer to Dave Petromalo, the legend who won two national titles as a coach at Homewood, won one as a player. Two, seeing then Tom Schreiber, our league's MVP, score an overtime goal against Atlas. Schreiber gets the pick, gets free, fires, and wins it for Archers. What a weekend that was. My family visited. It's always a special place for me. Now, my third favorite is street lacrosse. We announced it the Friday before semifinals in Long Island. We partnered with Kevin Durant, Rich Climbing, the entire boardroom group to create a version of the game that was like pickup hoops so anyone can play at any point, anywhere. We got street lacrosse. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> plays this thing, man. Let's go. That vibe was incredible. Wait till you see what we do in 2024 when we bring street lacrosse to different boroughs, maybe different cities, maybe different countries. Until then, we have to do a press conference. Without the gamer, I should have left this thing on the desk of first take. Brought this stick, that's what we do in yep. lacrosse. We use the earth, as we call it, and, and more times it goes than it doesn't, so I appreciate you, Stephen A., for showing the world what a great lacrosse shot looks like at Yankee I love Stadium. it, I've heard Shout out Rabel 2s. Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon, you know? All right, we're running late. You guys dubbing this City of Champions, what does Philadelphia mean to you guys? Yeah, I would, I would start by saying Philadelphia is a really important market to us. One that has uh, now hosted the championship three times and the semifinals once. Um, the only regret I have is that they didn't get a regular season weekend, but there's a reason that lacrosse for us and even my time prior to the PLL excelled in Philadelphia. Um, you know, I, my uh, first Final Four in 2005 was at the link. I think it's safe to say that 
regardless of our eight teams' locations, Philadelphia is going to be on the map for us long into the future. Here we are. The rain has continued, but we've got an exciting game, no doubt. The rain will add to the excitement. I would expect some shooters using the earth. Mark my words. Does the ball bounce or dies? It skips. I don't, think, I don't think it dies. It skips. It stays low. Especially if you put a little English on it. So let's uh, put that prediction to test. Cue the highlight. This is the time, though, to shoot a bounce shot. Sowers inside, he scores! Thompson sees it, makes the save. Showing that speed and quickness. Backhand is gone! Scores! Caraway gets it locked down to seven. Driver's gonna have to make something happen here. He shoots it! going to Sisselberger and then MVP is going to Dobson. Dobson had 19 saves in that last one. Yes, yes. Can I get it up to the boys? Yeah, yeah, of course. Boys! We have our league's MVP and Tom Schreiber scoring the game-winning goal, but today the MVP stood between the pipes, 19 saves. Second year in the league, Brett Dobson. All right, just leaving an amazing championship game in Philadelphia. Shout out to the Archers, Tom Schreiber, the league's MVP, Brett Dobson between the pipes, and Mike Sis with his big goal for the Archers in that final. Sis won a lot of first possessions for that team all season long. Top to bottom, start to finish, it was the Archers' year. Shout out to the Water Dogs for continuing to show us what an incredible roster they have and spirited players. And to each of you fans, especially those that brave the weather in Philadelphia, I hope you had a great time. And those that watched on TV, hope you enjoyed it. Forthcoming on this channel, we have cool things in store, me and Botter. He's in LA now. I'm going to Europe for a week. But until then, I'm going to be thinking about this season and how excited I am for the championship series. February. See you then.